The Stony Brook School The Stony Brook School is a 712 private Christian co-educational college preparatory boarding and day school in Stony Brook, New York, United States. It was established in 1922 by John Fleming Carson and fellow members of the Stony Brook Assembly. Its founding headmaster was Frank E. Gibeline. History in 1906, a group of Presbyterian ministers and laymen began an enterprise to form an annual series of summer Bible conferences in the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. These conferences were to be in the tradition of other Bible conferences already established at Chautauqua, New York, Winona Lake, Indiana, and Northfield, Massachusetts. The group was led by the Reverend John Fleming Carson, pastor of the former Central Presbyterian Church in Brooklyn and later moderator of the Presbyterian General Assembly 1911. After having visited the hamlet of Stony Brook in 1907, Carson and his associates settled on a location directly across from the train station. The first summer conference of the Stony Brook Assembly began on July 3, 1909, and was a success. The Stony Brook Assembly was formally incorporated by the State of New York in 1914. Carson's vision also included the establishment of a boys' school which could use the assembly grounds outside of the summer month. As early as 1916, formal plans were being considered for opening the school, but financial constraints and World War I postponed the opening of the school until the fall of 1922. On September 13, the Stony Brook School was inaugurated with 27 boys and 9 faculty. Founding headmaster Frank E. Gibeline called the new school an experiment in Christian education and set the mission for the school as being a rigorous college preparatory school thoroughly rooted in the Christian tradition. Education was not merely an emphasis on strong academics for the education of the mind, but more importantly was an emphasis on building character for the education of the heart and distinction he linked with an adherence to the gospel. In his report to the board in November 1937, Gibeline reaffirmed the purpose of the school, stating, It was never the aim of Dr. Carson and the other founders, however, simply to inaugurate one more college preparatory school. Stony Brook's prime reason for existence has been to bring its students into vital contact with the Christian faith. The academic reputation. In May 1923, it was granted a charter by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York. In 1928, the school was accredited by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools. In 1930, SBS was granted a charter by the Cum Laude Society, placing it among the first 60 schools granted this distinction since 1906. In 1931, the director of admissions at Princeton University indicated that the admissions committee was so impressed with the caliber of Bible study at Stony Brook that it would award one Carnegie unit of preparation for college. In the fall of 1971, a group of 30-day student girls entered the school, beginning the school's move toward co-education. The following year, female boarding commenced. In honor of the school's 50th anniversary in 1972, longtime faculty member and writer D. Bruce Lockerbie penned a history of the school entitled The Way They Should Go. Academics Academic rigor combined with an integration of the Christian faith are central to the school's academic tradition. Some of the hallmarks of the core curriculum include freshman critical reading and reasoning, the freshman and sophomore humanities curriculum, junior Bible English, and the senior Bible capstone course Faith and Culture in the 21st century. The graduation requirements mirror a traditional liberal arts education composed of four years of English and history, three years of one foreign language, science and mathematics, and one quarter credit in the visual arts. The school offers 21 advanced placement AP courses as well as numerous full-year elective courses in such subjects as the Engineering, Innovation, and Design STEM, History of Philosophy, Ethics and Politics, Advanced Digital Imaging, and 20th Century Fiction and Creative Writing. 
Students also have opportunities to take mini-courses interspersed throughout the year in a wide range of electives, as well as conduct various internships and research opportunities off-campus at nearby institutions such as Stony Brook. Teaching students to write well is one of the hallmarks of the school's curriculum. In the upper school, students are instructed across disciplines in the art of the analytical and personal essay, with special emphasis placed on the organization and craft of a well-written argument. Advanced Placement Courses Note, AP Latin alternates biennially with college-level Latin. Athletics Stony Brook was one of the original members of the Ivy Preparatory School League, composed of prep schools around the New York City and Long Island area. From 1974 minus 2018, Stony Brook was a member of Section Roman 11 of the New York State Public High School Athletic Association. In 2018, the school joined the private school's athletic association. In at least two out of the three seasons, students must participate in an athletics team or an approved alternative extracurricular activity. Approved activities include strength and conditioning in the fall and winter, interscholastic chess, interscholastic robotics, and the Theater Arts Society, all of which are offered in winter. Interscholastic sports. The mascot of the school is the bear. During the 1970s and most of the 1980s, the mascot was the Shrike. Campus facilities. Carson Auditorium erected in 1910. Carson was the first building built on the campus. It was built as an open-air auditorium for Bible conferences, but also served as the gymnasium from 1936 minus 1973. Today it houses the visual and performing arts departments and is used for assemblies, chapels, plays, concerts, and art exhibitions. The building has been refurbished three times in 1935 minus 1936, 1980, and 2006. John Rogers Hegemon Memorial Chapel, the chapel built in 1928 from the estate of John Rogers Hegemon, former president of the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Frederick H. Ecker, the executor of the estate, was charged with finding worthy institutions which could benefit from Mr. Hegemon's philanthropy. The chapel is the center of prayer and worship during the week and on Sundays. Chapman Parkway named in memory of the Reverend John Wilbur Chapman, a principal member of the Stony Brook Assembly. It was given by his widow Mabel and was completed in 1919. The paved parkway is lined with Norway Mabels and is the main drive and address of the school. Frank E. Giebeline Hall built in 1982 in honor of founding headmaster Frank E. Giebeline. It houses the Arno C. Giebeline Memorial Library, classrooms, science labs, the academic office, and the head of school office. Health Center, formerly known as the Infirmary, it was built in 1930 from the funds of the 1929 Carson campaign. Johnston Hall, built in 1918 and named in honor of Robert Johnston, board member and vice president of Scrubs, Vandervoort, and Barney Department Store in St. Louis. The building includes a dining hall, a dormitory, the business office, and the summer program's office. The building was refurbished in 1945 minus 1000, 946, and 2011. Connors Commons built in 2013. The building houses a 350-seat dining hall and kitchen, the Holly Student Center, school store, mailroom, lounge, and study areas. The Student Activities Office and Residential Life Office are also located there. Memorial Hall built in 1951 in memory of the Reverend John F. Carson and alumni who died in World War Roman II. It houses humanities classrooms, the English and foreign language departments, and the admissions, middle school, and student learning services. Also housed in the building is the Louis Simpson Poetry Collection, which was given to the school by poet and former faculty member. Athletics Facilities Jeffrey S. Adams Field completed in 2007. The baseball field is named in memory faculty member Jeff Adams, who served the school from 1995 minutes 2005. The field includes two sunken, 
brick dugouts and a scoreboard. Byers Park built in 1997 and named for alumnus John W. A. Byers, 46, and his family, Byers Park is an 800-seat, lighted stadium with a team room and press box. John K. Fitch Field, the original football field leveled in 1925 by John Knowles Fitch of the Fitch Publishing Company. His son Jack was an alumnus of the class of 1924. Marvin W. Goldberg Memorial Track built in 1997 to replace the old cinder track installed in 1959. Named in memory of the school's third senior master, legendary track, and cross-country coach Marvin Goldberg. Holly's tennis courts resurfaced in 2017 and gifted by the Hollis family. Kinney Field House, originally built in 1959 and known as the Alumni Field House, it underwent a renovation in 1976 and was renamed after alumnus and architect Alden M. Kinney, 39. In 2007, a third renovation of the building was completed. The field house provides additional practice and training space, including an all-purpose gym, wrestling room, aerobics room, locker room, and the facilities department. Swanson Gymnasium built in 1973 and named for Robert S. Swanson, SR, owner of the S.B. Thomas Baking Company. It houses the main gym, weight room, pool, 14 locker rooms, a conference room, and the athletics department. The building was renovated in 2000, and the pool was renovated in 2015. Residence Halls Alexander Hall built in 2002 and named for William and Betty Alexander, the parents and grandparents of alumni. It houses 10th 12th grade girls. Barnhouse Hall built in 1962 and named in memory of board member and prominent pastor of the 10th Presbyterian Church in Philadelphia. Donald Gray Barnhouse. Today it houses 7th, 9th grade girls. Cleveland Alumni House built in 1995 and named for alumnus Bart Cleveland 54. It houses 10th, 12th grade girls. John Rogers Hedgeman Memorial Hall Hedgeman Hall built in 1925 from the estate of John Rogers Hedgeman. Hedgeman Hall originally served as both a classroom building and dormitory. It is the only dormitory which has not ever been a female dormitory. Today it houses 7th, 9th grade boys. The building was renovated in 2009. Johnston Hall built in 1918 as a summer hotel. The second floor houses 10th, 12th grade boys. The floor was renovated in 2011. Hugh R. Monroe Hall built in 1965 and named for the second president of the Board of Trustees and head of the Montclair National Bank. Hugh Monroe served for nearly 25 years as president and oversaw the school through the Great Depression and World War Roman II. Today it houses 10th, 12th grade boys and the Development and Alumni Relations Office. The building was renovated in 2010. Simons Hall built in 2002 and named in memory of alumnus Paul A. Simons, 80, son of James Simons. It houses 10th, 12th grade girls. It is a twin dormitory with Alexander Hall. Former Buildings Hopkins Hall built in 1915 as a summer hotel, it was the second oldest building on campus. It was financed by Ferdinand T. Hopkins, a board member and New York philanthropist. At various points it housed dormitory rooms, classrooms, labs, a dining hall, and the school library. In 1980, it was demolished to build Gabeline Hall. Faculty Homes The school owns 24 faculty homes, which line the perimeter of the campus. These homes include Curtis House, built in 1929 and named for the school's first senior master Pearson Curtis and his wife Winifred. Goldberg House, built in 1932 and named for the school's third senior master Marvin W. Goldberg and his wife Dorothy. Grosvenor House, financed by John Prescott Grosvenor of Watertown, NY, it was built in 1923 and is the home of the headmaster. Johnson House built in 1921 and named for the school's second senior master O. Floyd Johnson, 32, and his wife Alina. Marshall House built in 1942. It was purchased by the school and named for longtime faculty member 
Donald W. Marshall and his wife Esther. Windrift built in 1970 and named by Marvin W. Goldberg. Notable people. Alumni. Aaron Bells, poet. Jason Benjamin, painter, tur 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 tur. Painter, tur 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 tur. James Montgomery Boyce, minister and theologian. George Bollett, pianists, pianists, pianists. William G. Boldler, diplomat at. Lars Brownworth, history and political science teacher, shirts, teacher, shirts, teacher, shirts, teacher, shirts, teacher, shirts. Teacher, shirts. Teacher, sure, 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 sure. John W. A. Doc Byers, businessman and businessman. Clayton Daly, businessman. Sarah Drew, actress, sus, 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 sus. Heinrich Holland, professor emeritus of science, Harvard University, University. Jack Andre Istel, parachutist and investment banker. Stephen G. Kurtz, academic and educator, educator. Make an educator. Cucator, A. Donald McLeod, theologian, Walter Ralston Martin, minister, author, and apologist, Richard Rover, political journalists, 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 Charles Caldwell Ryrie, theologian, theologian, Peter Thomas, announcer, announcer and narrator, James M. Tyne. Distinguished Professor and Dean and Dean, J. Dudley Woodbury, Missionary and Dean Emeritus. Faculty. Lars Brownworth, 1999 minus 2007, 2019 present. History and Political Science. Spencer Christian, 1970 minus 1971, English. Louis Simpson, 1999 minus 2001, English. 1. English.